All right, as you can see, I'm back at it. Uh, see, I got the front end off, and uh, I got the uh, crank pulley out already and started, you know, got the fan off and all that good stuff. Uh, this is the fluid damper right here. This is the old one. It's a uh, fluid damper is a little bit heavier. I looked up and someone weighted this one's 4.6 pounds. This one's 7.2 pounds. The difference is, is I don't know if you can see that, but this one just has rubber to help deal with the uh, torsional vibration. And what happens is these get old and that rubber starts cracking in some cases it even comes out i checked this one and i can't see it right now but there was one little crack starting uh you might be able to see it right there and uh this one is fluid filled with silicone so basically when the motor's uh spinning that silicone is moving around and when vibrations are happening that silicone is moving to whatever opposite side to cancel out those vibrations. These are tuned to a certain RPM. This one is like infinite, so it's gonna, you know, protect the engine through the whole RPM band. And uh, when you start upgrading your motor and putting a lot more horsepower to it, you wanna upgrade your damper to help protect the motor. Some people put the lightweight Pull these on. I've put them on like some uh, four-cylinder turbos. I haven't had any problems uh, back in the day. But with this motor it being a bigger V6 and a lot more horsepower, I went ahead and got the fluid damper. So that's going to be going on next. Uh, I didn't have to take the uh, the actual crank pulley off because you can see this one connects with six of these uh, Allen bolts. So very easy to take off. Uh, you just take the uh, serpentine belt off, of course, and take those off. So that was a big plus. Otherwise, I probably would have had to, you know, get a breaker bar, take that off, and probably get a crank crank gear puller to pull that off and all that. So I didn't have to do all that. Uh, the other thing is the XX Power Bi Pipe. This is the old one. Well, these are the old ones. Uh, they just go on the motor like that there's two of them and then there's a boot the stock one always goes bad and tears so i upgraded to a silicone one the old 34 one which is a real good one it has a uh, a lot of locator uh, it has a locator ring built into it to connect it to the throttle by so it's one of the better ones uh, but you can see right there that little step so, you know, that could be what you might say some restriction. Plus, this has, this too has, that. you can see that little bump right there. Then it turns square. That right there. Then right here. Now, the excess power one is tubular. So, there's no restrictions in it. Except for the welds, but... When I got this one, I was surprised that they had already machined it out. Cause that's what I was planning on doing because when I saw people get these, uh, you know, when I saw other videos of people getting these because of all the welds and stuff they had to do, there was a lot of, uh, you know, weld glob in there. But when I got this one, it was already machined out. So, but I know uh, XX Power is known for constantly upgrading their parts so i don't know if i got lucky or but you know i don't have to do that now also this one came with uh it came with a diverter valve uh, uh hoses so they're uh upgraded also you can see these are smaller they're older rubber these are silicone and they had their bigger diameter inside for, for better flow, supposedly, from the diverter valve. So uh, the other thing is when I got this boot, it sticks up higher. So I wasn't able to put my engine covers back on. And that's the only thing I didn't like about this uh, old 34 hose. 
So I'm hoping that this uh, excess power is gonna sit right so I'm able to put my uh, engine covers back on. Uh, the other thing I'm gonna do while I'm in here is uh, I, I got this uh, this 034 silicone power steering hose. Uh, you can see the old one right there. It's, it's rubber, but it's real hard and brittle. Uh, and they always end up cracking and breaking. So while I'm in here, I'm gonna go ahead and switch that out with this one. Just for some peace of mind. And I also went ahead and while I'm at it, uh, I upgraded the, uh, what's called, they call them lobster claws, because you can see that and then they go to the diverter valve. So I got the old 34 silicone ones to go on with the bipods because they connect to, to these. So I'm gonna do that while I'm in there also. All right, that's it. Uh, I'll hit you guys back. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to uh, space this fan out. I forgot to tell you guys. I think I told you guys before, but it sits like that and it sits pretty close to the fan. So it's got these three screws right here to take the fan away from this so I'll probably get some spacers or something if I have to to space them out so they won't hit the bipipe. All right, uh, I'll hit you guys back when I get everything back together. Leave a like to help the channel out and subscribe so you don't miss the upcoming follow-up video where I'll go over impressions of all the parts I recently installed. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video coming up soon.